A Nation's Strength by William Ralph Emerson, 1833-1917 What makes a nation's pillars high and its foundation strong? What makes it mighty to defy the foes that round it throng? It is not gold. Its kingdoms grand go down in battle shock. Its shafts are laid on sinking sand, not on abiding rock. Is it the sword? Asked the red dust of empires passed away. The blood has turned their stones to rust, their glory to decay. And is it pride? Ah, that bright crown has seemed to nations sweet, but God has struck its luster down in ashes at his feet. Not gold, but only men can make a people great and strong. Men who for truth and honour's sake stand fast and suffer long. Brave men who work while others sleep, who dare while others fly. They build a nation's pillars deep and lift them to the sky. Okay, this poem is by William Ralph Emerson. Now, William Ralph Emerson was actually a cousin of Ralph Waldo Emerson. Um, however, notice... Um, William Ralph Emerson, he was primarily an architect. Yeah, he's not famous for his poems, but this is a, a, a nice little poem by him. And what's it about? It's about what makes a nation strong. What gives a nation its strength? What are the characteristics? And he asks uh, various questions about different things and then comes to the conclusion that the thing that makes a nation strong is its people, the will of its people to be right and honourable and good. So, a nation's strength, that's the title, yeah? What makes a nation's pillars high and its foundation strong? Yeah, so what makes it makes it uh, a, a very important nation with high pillars and strong foundations? What makes it mighty, strong, to defy the foes that round it throng? So it, the, what makes it strong enough to defy the foes, the enemies that are everywhere around it? It is not gold. So he starts directly saying, gold doesn't do it. Its kingdoms grand go down in battle shock. So grand kingdoms based on gold are beaten in, in battles. Its shafts are laid on sinking sand, not on abiding rock. So its shaft, its foundations are, are, are made on sand. They're not made on bedrock. Yeah, so... Um, it can't stand up to uh, conflict and um, other ideologies and it falls apart. Is it the sword? So is it military strength that makes uh, a nation last? Ask the red dust of empires passed away. So he's saying, well, clearly not, because there is red dust of many strong empires that had military strength, but they've passed away, they've died. The blood has turned their stones to rust, their glory to decay. So the blood of the dead has rusted away the stones of military empires. Yeah, they, they've just decayed and the glory of uh, strong military empires just disappears. And is it pride? Ah, that bright crown has seemed to nations sweet. So being proud of your country, pride in your country, that's a crown that nations like. Nations, people, nationalists love to be proud of their country. 
but God has struck its lustre down. So God has struck down, has knocked down its lustre, its shine in ashes at his feet. So the shiny, shining pride has been destroyed by God again and again. So that's not it. Not gold, but only men can make a people great and strong. So it's not gold, it's men, it's the people, it's the people who live in, in a country that make it great and strong. Men for who for truth and honour's sake stand fast and suffer long. So men who um, will do anything to defend truth and honour and they will stand fast, they won't run away, they will suffer and uh, bear a situation to maintain truth and honour and that's what makes a strong nation. Brave men who work while others sleep so brave men who work the, the whole time while other people are not so keen. Who dare while others fly. Here fly is talking about run away. So brave men who dare to withstand the enemy while other people's, people run away. They build a nation's pillars deep. So here the pillars are the foundations and lift them to the sky. So if you have a deep foundation, then you can construct your uh, nation uh, as a very tall building. And that's the idea. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. A Nation's Strength by William Ralph Emerson.